thing in this town matters. And the, the place that we have here is amazing. And we should attract that talent and do everything we can to integrate them into what we're doing. Um, obviously, I need to talk a little bit about general informatics. So I'm gonna go uh, into just a little bit of detail. A lot of people have been asking me, man, you, you guys have a great startup and we're actually a 20 year old business, right? Um, a gentleman by the name of Mohit Beach started um, general informatics and he is an amazing engineer, amazing, more importantly, an amazing guy. And um, I remember the first time that I interviewed with him when they were recruiting me to come and, and, and be the CEO of that company. Imagine what that was like. He had spent 20 years growing this company and he was talking to the guy that could potentially um, take over for that organization. And he said in the interview, and after I told him like, hey, this is what I've done and here's, here's my accomplishments. And he, he said, um, hey Don, let me just ask you one question. Who is Don Monashir? And I gotta admit, I had to stop for just a second and think about that. And I said, hey man, I do everything I can to put myself in alignment with what the Holy Spirit wants for me and my family. I do that every day. I work hard to do that every day. And he looked at me and he said, now we're talking. And so I knew at that moment that this was a home for me. And it did help that it was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is where I'm from. And um, when Rosewood called me, Rosewood, um, private investments purchased General Informatics and wanted to take it to the next level. When they recruited me, I asked them, please don't tell my mom that this might actually happen because I will have no negotiating power whatsoever. <laughs> so, um, but guys, I spent a better part of my career looking at uh, a number of IT companies and I got to be very critical about General Informatics when I was going through that whole recruitment process. And so when I tell you that the service delivery model that we have there is second to none, and we've got some of the people here uh, that as part of that, it, it made the decision very easy. It really did. And so when I think about what we're doing at General Informatics, hyper growth, hyper investment, and for that matter, hyper opportunities, opportunities for the people in our organization, people who have been there for 16 years, um, <laughs> 12. 12 years, okay. <laughs> 12 years. People have been there for 12 days, right? Um, we're doing a lot to, to create opportunities. So um, I'm okay with our competition being here uh, and drinking the beer. I really am. It's all right. What I'm not okay with is our family, those family of people accepting anything other than excellence in what we're doing here in this, in this city and what we're doing in the Southeast to really show, hey, we know what we're doing here too. You don't have to go to the West Coast. You don't have to go to Atlanta. You don't have to go to Dallas. You can come right here to Hoover and be a part of an amazing organization. So I would tell you, hold those folks accountable. Make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And if they're not investing in their people, if they're not investing in their customers, and if they're not investing in their community, tell them they need to start because it's not just up to the mayor. We've got to do our part. If we don't do our part, this doesn't work. So guys, thank you so much. I very much appreciate you guys. And now we're gonna hand the mic over to somebody really important. Thank you. Well, you said a, a, a lot of exactly what I feel. First, let me introduce our council president is here, John Lida and uh, Steve, Councilman Steve McClinton. And I wish uh, that uh, Mike Shaw were here. But we came into office four years ago. One, one of the things that we talked, actually I think it's about five years ago, one of the things that we talked about was diversifying the economy of Hoover. We're uh, a well-known retail uh, engine in, in the state of Alabama, not to mention right here in the, in the Birmingham Hoover metropolitan area. And we wanted, uh, we wanted very much to get uh, our own business incubator of sorts. And so we, you know, I, I got to meet Mike Oakman and he had a great vision. Mike Shaw had a great vision. Mike actually put together um, our, uh, round, our tech round table. He went through all throughout Hoover to identify the, uh, the tech companies that were here. And we found out that we've actually got a lot of tech companies 
in the city of Hoover, not to mention the regions of the world and AT&T, those were big companies that were but, but the mom and pop operations that are here and, 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 so, and are very successful. So you fit right into general informatics, fits right into where we want to be. We're so excited that you are in Halo. That's, that's what we wanted to happen. COVID hit us, kind of slowed us down, but I really see us picking up and some great things happening. So we are so thankful that you decided to locate uh, in this building. And we think everything you said about Hoover, the quality of life is outstanding here. It's a great place to open a business, raise a family. You can work, play, shop, whatever you need to do in Hoover, Alabama. So congratulations and welcome officially. All right, um, so we are going to give away tickets to the Barons game. And this young man, Mr. Cooper Monastere, might, might be kin to me. Clark Kent. So I have the unfortunate pleasure of following both of them. Um, and you'd think after a few months working, I would understand how I should address my father in the workplace, and it hasn't happened yet. I don't know if I should say Don, Dad, Mr. Monastere, if anybody has any suggestions, please come talk to me later. Um, if you hear your names, please come talk to me later and we'll work out the details for these Baron tickets. Thanks to everybody who entered into the survey. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Tanner Terry. Parker Hendrickson. And Rebecca Odin. <laughs> you guys can just spot, come find me or Chess Allen and we'll get everything squared away. So thanks everybody for coming out. And I'm going to hand the phone back to somebody who knows a little bit more about presenting. <laughs> you did fine, son. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the first time he, we, we were in a meeting, he was like, yeah, dead. Don, Mr. Guy, what? <laughs> I realized, oh God, we haven't really talked about that, have we? So, um, no guys, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. And look, at the end of the day, we do have a lot of beer, so we need to get to that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. I appreciate it.